Hello, my name is Latoya Miller, and I am presenting Susie Esterhaus as my photographer for my multimodal project. Susie Esterhaus is an award-winning wildlife photographer, where most of her works have been posted to over 100 magazine covers and feature stories like the Smithsonian, Time Magazine, and National Geographic Kids. She has also won a 2021 Outstanding Photographer of the Year Award from the North American Nature Photography Association and has also competed in competitions like the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Competition and National Wildlife Photo Contest and many more. Most of her work is documented on newborn animals and family life within the wild. In the photograph titled African Elephant, Laxodonta Africana at Maasai Mar Triangle in Kenya. We see how the mother and baby elephant are in the center composition. You can also see how mainly the mother's shadow is captured off to the left of the photo, almost as if it's hiding the baby, giving a hard light view on it. You can see the background and the mood of the scenery as if it's getting ready to rain there, and how the shadows from the clouds look like it's taking up the whole sky, but when you look on the surface, the sun has lighting as if it's casting right off the shadows off of the elephants, which has a mixed light effect, giving a safari look. In this next photo titled Adelai Penguin, Pygostius Adelai on Iceberg at Pollard Island, Antarctica, it shows a low perspective angle of the penguin on top of the ice right in a bullseye view. I would like to note how the photograph Esterhaus has taken has an aesthetically evided feel to it going based on how the motion of the camera captures the penguin and movement to the mellow tone background and plain scenery. Also, the icebergs are making what looks like more complementary colors like light and dark blue on the ice falling together on it, but it's just a reflection off the ice and water making it seem that way where in reality it's just that, the reflection. Also, the way she has taken the photo, having a plain background with the white-like scenery grabs a lot of attention towards the penguin's complementary colors of black and white and its movements while the photographer has great background control. This, in general, shows the penguin in its cold yet comfortable habitat. With this photo titled Reflection Pond in Mount McKinley in Denali National Park, Alaska, it really shows how Esther Oz can go from taking photography of animals in their natural habitat to beautiful sceneries like this mountain and its surroundings. This image really stuck out to me since she was able to capture how the reflection in the water shows the mountain in a symmetrical way, giving the viewer a feeling of the world upside down. To add, due to its calming nature, this photo even has an aesthetically evaluative feel to it due to the reflection and backdrops there. Also, the way how she was able to bring in the anagos colors of blue from the sky and shadows, white from the snowy mountain tops, and green from the grasslands around the area shows the magic composition of the photo itself. To add, having great background control, she was able to capture the complexity of the mountain in the distance to the simplicity of the grassland and lake in front of it. <laughs> Lastly, this photo titled Black Tailed Deer Odoclus. Hemonious, one to two week old fawn with broken leg in Loomis, California shows an injured fawn in a very cautious curled up position. This photo that Esther House has taken can be seen as ethically evaluative due to the fact of not knowing what caused the fawn's injury and it brings to question what happened to the mother of said fawn. This photo can even be interpreted as the deer is recovering from the injury via a needed rescue and whether the fawn is in pain it can be brought into question as well. The viewer can even look at this photo and interpret it as a saved yet uncomfortable baby. I will note how the fawn is also in a bullseye view and is the main focus of the image with the background itself in a plain view of giving an animal care like setting. Overall, Esther House's photography style has great variances from animals of wildlife to sceneries of nature and leaves a great impression on a viewer for more to come.